Prime Minister Zali and I met at 11.30 today, and we have just lunched together. And I welcome this opportunity to meet the Prime Minister. His visit to Washington has initiated a personal exchange of views that I look forward to continuing. I was particularly gratified by his visit because I didn't have the opportunity to meet with Tunisian President Habib Bourguiba when he visited the United States privately earlier this year. It's a special pleasure to meet with the leader of a country with which our relations have been and are characterized by continuing trust and friendship. I'm proud that the United States has been able to play a role in the outstanding economic growth and development of Tunisia. And I have told the Prime Minister that he can count on us as Tunisia faces the external threats that have emerged in the past few years. He and I renewed our hope for a, an increased level of trade and commerce between our new nations as a means of benefiting our peoples and sealing our friendship. We exchanged views on the Middle East, and I reassured the Prime Minister of our determination to spare no exertion in seeking to bring a just and lasting peace to the Middle East. I regret only the shortness of his visit. And Mr. Prime Minister, you certainly are most welcome here in the United States. J'ai eu l'honneur d'être reçu ce matin par le président Reagan et je lui ai transmis les salutations amicales du président Bourguiba et les remercie encore une fois des efforts déployés par les États-Unis d'Amérique pour contribuer à, au développement socio-économique de la, Tun de la Tunisie. Cet effort a commencé avec l'indépendance de la Tunisie sous différentes formes et à différents niveaux. Je suis content, satisfait de constater que pour la réussite de notre sixième plan de développement, la Tunisie peut encore compter sur les États-Unis d'Amérique. J'ai été très heureux d'écouter, d'entendre le point de vue du président Reagan à propos d'un certain nombre de questions touchant la paix du monde, la situation dans certaines régions du monde, en particulier au Moyen-Orient, à la frontière irako-iranienne et en Méditerranée. Nous avons eu un échange d'informations et de points de vue très intéressants. Je voudrais en conclusion exprimer ma satisfaction entière pour l'accueil chaleureux, amical, que moi-même et mes collègues qui m'accompagnent accueillent chaleureux du président Reagan, des ministres et des hauts responsables américains et aussi des membres du Sénat et de la Chambre des représentants. J'espère que cette visite aura contribué à raffermir davantage les liens traditionnels d'amitié et qu'elle sera suivie par d'autres contacts à tous les niveaux. Je vous remercie. I had the honor to be received this morning by President Reagan, to whom I brought the very friendly greetings of President Bougiba, and to whom I expressed our thanks for the efforts that the United States has made 
to contribute to the social and economic development of Tunisia. The contribution of the United States began right at independence and has assumed different forms and has been carried out at different uh, levels. I'm uh, very happy and very satisfied to note that uh, as a contribution to the success of our sixth plan, uh, Tunisia can continue to count on the assistance of the United States. I was happy to listen to the views of President Reagan on a number of issues affecting world peace and the situation in different regions of the world, especially the Middle East, the situation on the Iraqi-Iranian border and the situation in the Mediterranean. We exchanged information, we exchanged viewpoints. It was a very interesting meeting. In conclusion, I should like to express my full uh, gratification at the very warm and friendly welcome which was extended to myself and to my colleagues who traveled with me. We received a very warm welcome not only from President Reagan and members of his cabinet, but also from uh, and the senior officials of his government, but also from members of the Senate and the House of Representatives. I hope very much that my visit will have strengthened the traditional bonds of friendship between our two countries and that it will be further strengthened by future contacts at all levels. Thank you very much.